My name is Reggie Pyatt. I have been with Aldi for two and a half months about. My exact position is supply chain data specialist. I'm on their reporting and analytics team. I work a lot with SQL Server. I export that in various ways, either through Excel or a Python script or whatever way the company needs it. And then I just build a report after that, either in Tableau or through Excel. I oversee products that are in the sale papers that are at the stores. I see just store availability across all divisions. So I started with going to NIU, Northern Illinois University from 2011 to 2015. I majored in computer science and going there, I was under the impression that I had to be a software engineer and it was all just programming, like data science wasn't even a thing back then. It was just a side job of software engineers. And so I, I had a few jobs that I didn't really like, but I did find that I liked the data aspect of it. So I like left software engineering just to work some more like basic roles, data analytical roles, but they were the kind of thing that they would hire anyone out of high school for, nothing really intensive. So I figured if I want to move up in the world, I want to learn the more like the dirtier stuff within data science, not just working on an Excel spreadsheet. I was thinking, man, there's got to be something like that out there that will really like teach me all the stuff I need to do with hands-on experience and also actually show me how it works within the industry and make me feel like I'm already doing the job. And I found DataCamp and I think the biggest thing was uh, you can find Excel and Python tutorials all over, but the thing that got me with DataCamp was I saw they trained in Tableau and Power BI, which I were these up and coming industry tools. I know they've been around for a while, but you know, when I graduated, no one had even mentioned those before. So like I, I noticed they started appearing on every job application I was looking at and I'm like, I should learn these and DataCamp seems to be the only place that's like delivering hands-on training and not just videos you watch and articles you read and that's it. So yeah, I think just going mainly through the Tableau and Power BI like really helped me advance my career. And lately I've been working on all the other things too. Uh, SQL and Python have definitely been a great thing to learn for my current role. Yeah, so I signed up for Data Camp last April. It took me about 10 months to find a job and I hadn't even been applying right away. Like I really wanted to get to a point that I needed to just feel confident about what I do in case the technical interview is really specific. And I applied at Aldi just on a whim. I actually applied for something that I was way out of my league and they said, oh, how about you do this instead? It sounds like a good fit for you. So I interviewed and the technical interview wasn't too bad. I felt pretty confident and yeah. And so now I, I found myself to be very happy <laughs> where I am at Aldi. <laughs> want to begin with college. I felt like in college, SQL was only touched upon in like half of one course I took in all four years. And it, even then, it, it only had very basic training. It, it more focused on the theory of a table normalization, stuff like that. And I didn't really get to apply it that much. And then after college, I was thinking like, okay, maybe I can take some online courses that focus more on it. I, I tried Codecademy and some of those other sites and they were good but i think event i found data camp just through i think it was a youtube channel someone mentioned oh yeah this site is specifically geared for like data scientists you're not going to end up getting wrapped up in <laughs> some other kind of coding you don't need to learn so i've done all the sql projects that the site offers and i like the way it's set up i like the jupyter notebooks and all that with Python, right now I'm just like going through some career tracks. I always have a career track going on, but then I might notice something come up like a random course pop up that's new and I want to take it and I'll just take it in the middle of the track or I'll do an assessment or a project. I think really the best thing that's happened to me at this point is when I started at my new job, my boss came in and was like, have you heard of Data Camp? I want to get you signed up. I'm like, oh, I'm already 10 months ahead of you. So he like basically said, okay, work on that in your spare time because everyone on the team is going to need to know this stuff. And I think that's probably how I ended up in the top 50. I've had a lot of time just during my work day to do courses. But yeah, I think it like 
even if I'm working on a course that probably doesn't directly apply to my role, like everything I feel like is good to know for the future, especially with Python, there is just 30 years worth of stuff to learn that it's really just a matter of knowing what's available rather than knowing how to do it. So like when the test comes up, it's, oh, I can use this thing. Let me Google it to figure out, find out what the syntax is, and then I can do it. Like I, I've realized like this isn't all just memorization. It's more just fundamentally knowing the theory and concepts behind data science. I tend to push it to the afternoon, especially as my days have gotten busier since I started. I try to get a lot of work done in the morning and then I'll allocate some time to work on data camp. Usually after lunch is when I have less meetings or distractions going on. I, I feel like everyone's different and my personal path felt like a, like learning SQL first really helped me get a grasp on the way of visualizing how data is in a system. Maybe setting up your own schedule helps. Like most of what I did last year was I like just made like a little spreadsheet of a list of courses I wanted to take and like how long they were, or how many modules they had and timed like how long I thought they would take. So I just gauged myself on like how much time I wanted to allocate each day and had a goal. I want to finish these courses by the end of this week. And I think once you're in the swing of following that plan, it, it can help. Another thing I did was like just doing it while hanging out and watching Netflix. Like I would just pause the show whenever I got to another video so I could listen to the video, then unpause. And I was able to just focus myself on both things. I, I, I know not everyone can do that, but I think the hardest that new learners run into is either finding the time or like staying motivated <laughs> to keep learning. Yeah, I think it's like just like finding a good way to fit it in with your leisure time, but without making too big of a sacrifice. Or if you happen to work somewhere that your company lets you work on it during your free work hours, like take advantage of that too. After a while, it got to a point where if there was a day that I didn't do it or couldn't do it, like I, it actually like occurred to me like, oh, I'm not doing it. I feel like I need to be productive and <laughs> get back on data.